This video is not therapy. This is a YouTube video, but this is a video that Jack and I are making for you if you happen to be a teenager who deals with anxiety. We want to give you some hope. We want to give you some encouragement and a little something that you can do to maybe make your anxiety easier today. Yeah, um, if you're struggling with anxiety, um, it's a real thing. A lot of people struggle with this. You're not alone. It's, you're not abnormal. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, it's just learning how to learning how to navigate through those feelings and those emotions to where that you don't put an extra strain on yourself or cause yourself more problems um, than you're already going through. Anxiety is a creepy thing. Not like a creepy like a creeper, but it creeps up kind of like weeds in your flower bed. Yeah. It, it starts small and it gets bigger. And sometimes we don't realize how big our anxiety is. One thing I would say to you at this moment is take a moment and reflect. How anxious am I? On a scale of one to 10, how anxious am I? If I'm at a seven, it's not gonna take much to get me to a 10. If I'm at a uh, seven and I do something to cope myself down to like a four, then I've got some, some room to get more anxious before I start having panic attacks, before I start lashing out at those people who kind of like me. Uh, but a lot of this begins with me knowing what's going on. I don't know how many people have told me, I didn't mean to snap at these people. I was just really anxious. Well, be aware of how anxious you are. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's important to be aware. Listen, if you're anxious, that means that your mind is tracking on a particular narrative that's causing anxiety. Um, if you feel anxious, you gotta stop and ask yourself, hey, what am I thinking about? And more than likely, you're thinking about something that probably hasn't happened yet, and you're probably um, assuming a bad outcome for that thing. Um, so if, if that's where you're at, then you can always change that by thinking about the things that, that, that you're dwelling on in a more positive way. Because again, if you're, um, if you're just saying, hey, bad stuff's gonna happen, that's not necessarily the truth. You have no idea what's gonna happen. So reframe those thoughts and look at them in a more positive way. It'll relieve a lot of the anxiety just doing that. Anxiety can be something that you overcome or anxiety can be your excuse that keeps you from living and experiencing life. And one thing that I see happen a lot is people allow that anxiety to keep them from going out, being around friends, making new connections, doing things, experiencing things. And you can do that. My anxiety, I'm too anxious to go to that crowded place. Um, sooner or later, there's this thing, uh, we call it compound interest where things start piling up and adding up and adding up. We saw it in COVID where people spent a month by themselves, two months by themselves, three, six, 12, 18 months where they weren't particularly around people. Um, you gotta take it back because anxiety isn't something that you can't defeat. There's a lot of negatives. You can defeat anxiety. Don't buy into this statement that I'm anxious and so I can't do things and I can't live. Yeah, anxiety can be controlled by the way that you think about things. I'm, it's not easy. I'm not saying that it's easy. Um, and some people have it so bad that medication might help them. But I think the starting point is to understand that I'm anxious because of things that I'm thinking about. That's the first step you have to understand. So I have to reframe these thoughts in my mind. Um, don't let anxiety take your life, take your dreams, take, take your greatness. We are all meant to be great, but it's really hard to function in that greatness if we're living in anxiety all the time. If you are anxious, there is hope. You will not always be anxious unless you choose to always be anxious. I want to say this, and this is not popular psychology, but you can fight anxiety and you can beat anxiety. Yeah. You, where you are at this moment, can fight anxiety and you can beat anxiety. Are you ready to fight? If you need some help with that, Jack's a therapist. I'm a therapist. We work with a team of therapists and every stinking day we're working with people to give them the tools they yeah. need to go head to head with anxiety and win. You That's can right. beat it. Give us a call.